All right, gang. Well, here we are. Another interview after a week off the air. It gave me time to finally work out the kinks and bring to you Mike Orlando from Adrenaline Mob right now on the phone with me here inside the asylum. How's it going, Mike? It's going great, man. Good to be talking to you, my friend. Same here, man. First things first, gotta congratulate you. I know I'm probably late to the party, but gotta congratulate you guys on the success of Omerta landing at number five on the Billboard Rock Charts for the week it debuted and number 62 on the Billboard Top 200. Yeah, man. So thank you. Thank you very much. I, I, I appreciate the congrats. And, uh, you know, I, all I can do is thank all the kick-ass Adrenaline Mom fans out there, you know, for uh, for supporting us and Omerta. And, uh, you know, I'm just, I'm so glad that everyone's digging it. And, you know, we, we can't wait to get out there and support it. I, I gotta admit it, there's not one bad track on the album. As soon as uh, pre-orders were available, I put myself in for the pre-order. Uh, you know, when I got it, I noticed uh, that there were similarities. Actually, almost every track from the EP was on Omerta, with the exception of your cover, uh, with the cover of Mob Rules. Was there any re tweaking done to the original tracks on America? No, no not at all. Um, well, no, no, actually, yes. Sorry, you got me there. Um, I played bass on America. Um, so that's, that's the one difference. Um, but basically, it's all the same stuff, you know. Um, we didn't really touch anything. We just, we finally, you know, got a you know a great and in, incredible mix by jay rustin I, I can't say more you know great things about jay he's uh you know he's incredible um the, the ep was just a really quick thing that we threw out there because you know we had to go on the road with godsmack and we got the great opportunity to and uh you know it was awesome so we just like all right we need some some merch we want some stuff for people to take home and be able to look into the band and Oh, we just printed, you know, what we had so far, just, you know, pre-production demos. But, uh, yeah, you know, I can't say enough about, you know, what Jay did to the mix. And, and Omerita, you know, sounds the way it should sound, you know, huge. <laughs> oh, yeah, I mean, huge is an understatement. Uh, I was listening to it this morning, uh, again, just to kind of refresh myself but before speaking to you. Um, yeah, on... On the EP, you guys covered uh, Black Sabbath, Mob Rules, which everyone, uh, I've heard from thousands of people, and they've all said the same thing. It's got to be the best cover of, of that song ever done. And oh, wow. You guys, I mean, you guys really nailed that one. And I, I'm big on covers. How yeah. did the cover... Of come undone with Lizzie Hale, come about. Sure. Okay. Well, first I want to thank you on you know that great compliment. Uh, you know that was that was awesome of you, and uh, can't thank you enough. You know for the great support. Um, come undone. That uh, came from you know me just wanting to do the song since it came out. You know I've been a fan of that tune since nineteen ninety one. It came out maybe. 92 and um, you know I'm a fan of all kind of music I, I never pigeon my whole pigeonhole myself into one category so I always loved the haunting melody of it and the haunting you know girl vocal behind you know floating in and out of the song and uh, I just waited till the right you know lineup and, and band you know that I had rolling and uh, Adrenaline Mob was perfect and Lizzie really just came from uh, from Mike. You know, they're, they're good friends. Uh, you know, through touring, I, I, I assume when Mike was avenged, uh, I believe you know they did some touring with Hailstorm, and uh, they became real good friends. So it was just a matter of you know she was the perfect person. I mean, she's amazing. She to me she's like the female Russell Allen. You know, as far as the voice goes. Uh, yeah, I mean you're. Yeah, I mean, there is a lot of power behind 
uh, behind her voice. I'm just now myself uh, starting to get into some of her stuff. I heard her a while ago and I died with me. I was a little hesitant. I was afraid that um, she was a, a record label project in order to, you know, put a pretty face out into the rock and metal scene. So I, I was a little hesitant at first. Yeah, but, she's, uh, not. she's a she is one of the most kick ass women in rock today. I think the most <laughs> in a kick ass uh, you know, woman in rock uh, she's her, her voice, you know, just huge, you know, and, uh, she, she's an amazing talent and she was hands down, you know, a great pick for the song, you know, so I, I really think her and Russ complement each other and uh, it really did justice to the song, you know. Absolutely, I I agree completely. Yeah, I'm very particular when I hear a cover, and I know the original. I get very picky. I kind of sit and go, right, did they ruin it? Did they do it right? Did they do it justice? <laughs> you know, and, and, and you guys did just that with uh, we kept it. Money. You know, we kept it the same. I, I I didn't want to veer, you know, from the original, uh, you know, recording. I mean, I I remember telling us about it, and you know, at first he kind of looked at me like I had, you know three heads on my shoulders so you know I went home to the studio and I I just kind of tracked it all you know and laid down drums and bass guitar and gate and showed him this arrangement and pressed play and he was like I got it and, you know let's roll and we just started putting you know working with Russ and the vocal arrangements and it just it came together real easy so we stayed true to the original arrangement pretty much cool yeah I mean it's, you can definitely sense that uh, in a track. I mean, I'm a child of the 80s, so I I know the song uh, from that from that time. I don't know if you know, everyone's familiar with it, but I'm one of those that were uh, very familiar with it, so I was able to pick it up right out of the gate. Now, I, I gotta ask, because you know, I, I look at the uh, Adrenaline Mom, even the original lineup, even though uh, it's changed since the first EP, and it blows me away a little bit because even to me, and you're, you live in my backyard, you're, you're in Staten Island, I'm in Brooklyn, and Ooh. yeah, and essentially you were kind of an unknown for a yeah. lot of people here, here in the States. And I mean, how is it now for you? Because I know you were really big with Science Stomp. Uh, your solo project, I know that does really well overseas. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah, sure, thank you. Yeah, what's it like now for you to kind of get, now you've got the U.S. audience that finally knows who you are now. You know, how is that as opposed to, you know, knowing you have an audience overseas and now you have an audience here in the States? Yeah, it's it's great, you know. Um, the instrumental thing, yeah, you know, I've been doing Sonic Stomp probably since about 2005. Um, you know, I'm, I'm I'm a big instrumental fan, but I was never a big instrumental fan doing it, you know, so it took me a long time to get into it. Um, you know, and I kind of got pushed into it my but with, you know, by my buddy and, uh, you know, a good friend of mine, Zach, Zach Wild, you know, they kind of pushed me into doing, you know, you should definitely do this, you know. All right, sure. So, you know, I banged it out, and it, it went over great, and uh, toured a lot overseas, China and Japan, and and, and I, a lot of the trade shows all over the world, I, you know, for, for companies like Octron and GHS and all of my, you know, diehard endorsements, and uh, I would just go around playing everywhere for them. Um, but now, yeah, it's, it's great to be, you know, known in the States and establishing, you know, uh, not only adrenaline mob, you know, myself as a, as a player and a songwriter. Um, I'm, I've always been a very avid songwriter. So, I, you know, I've been writing for the last 15, you know, 20 years or so, um, which uh, is a lot of the songs, that's where, you know, all the adrenaline mob stuff came from, you know, uh, just me crafting it over the years and and then, you know, taking it to uh, to Russ and we, you know, and we, we worked it together and, you know, and made what now is a drama mob but uh i love it you know I, I just i love to play you know i'm a fan of music and uh wherever it takes me that's where i go and and, and you know thank god you know it's uh it's 
kind of getting, you know, worldwide now, which is really, really cool. Yeah. Definitely. Good, man. I mean, yeah, I mean, like I said, I, you know, when I started doing the research and I came across your name, it was like, wait a minute, I knew it. And, you know, we've had a few conversations briefly uh, over Facebook. And, you know, I can't help but hit myself over the back of the head and just be like, how did you miss him when he's over the bridge? <laughs> yeah. I, yeah, I mean, uh, you're talking about the technique that I said. Yeah, I mean, your technique and the fact that, yeah, I mean, like I said, I, yeah, I'm still kind of new to the uh, to the scene, even here in the New York area, and usually I'm on the ball about artists that are in the area and musicians in the area, um, you know, and then it's like, you're from Staten Island, and I'm trying to, I, I brought your name up to a few people, and they're like, yeah, we knew about him a couple of years ago, and it's like, why didn't anyone tell me? Like, uh, why don't you know, what? Yeah. You know, it is, man. It's instrumental stuff is, is not a big thing, you know. it's At least in the States, it's not, you know. And um, that's just the way it is, man, you know. And, uh, you know, I do some stuff here. You know, I've, I've played, I've done some, some big guitar shows at BB King's and the Blender Theater at Gramercy. And, um, some really nice venues. Uh, but it's, it's a limited thing, you know. And uh, overseas, it's a totally different story. You know, that that's, that's a different, uh, you know, I, I go over to China and, and play to three, four thousand seat theaters and stuff and go over to Japan and have, you know, have kick-ass tours and stuff. And uh, it's just a different vibe, man, you know. Um, but I'm thankful that it, it, it's thriving somewhere. <laughs> yeah, and you know what, the good thing is, though, is with everything being, um, you know, digital nowadays, people are able to kind of go back and, and look back, you know, and, uh, you know, for everyone listening, go and check out, uh, Mike's solo stuff, the, uh, Michael Lando Sonic stuff, it is on iTunes, uh, I downloaded one of the albums, and you gotta forgive me, I forget which one it is off the top of my head, but, I mean, it's amazing stuff, and even, uh, I love how we, Adrenaline Mob, you know, I've listened to the Sonic stuff, I've listened to Adrenaline Mob, and when it gets to the solos in Adrenaline Mob, you know it's you. You didn't change, you know, there's nothing different uh, in your sound. Um, yeah, well, the, you know, they always say, you know, the, the, the true mark of a player, you know, the sound is in your hands. Um, so regardless of, you know, what you're playing, I guess your, your, your personality comes out. Um, I, it definitely is a little different. I mean, Sonic Stomp, I take, you know, I take over the edge. You know, I, I have Sonic Stomp 1 and 2, and I'm uh, working on 3 for, you know, next year. Um, so those two albums, you know, they're... What, what is... What I've got from people that, you know, enjoy the albums is they're not... They're not just, you know, wanking off and just shredding for the sake of doing that. Not that it's not great. It's, it's awesome. But uh, Sonic Stomp 1 and 2 is song-oriented. They're groove-oriented. You know, it's a, a regular listener can get into a tune. You know, there's ballads, but they're structured, you know, like a song. Verse, pre-chorus, chorus. And, and, then, and then I put the solos, you know, I write the song, and then I put the solos after. It, it, I don't do the opposite, which, um, you know, maybe is a little different for that kind of music, but that's just, you know, the way I do it. So I, I think... Um, People kind of, you know, they dig that about the albums. But yeah, the soloing is a little more over the top on Sonic Stomp 1 and 2. Adrenaline Mamba pulls back a little bit, but you know, there's uh, there's moments where I, you know, I get to, uh, you know, uh, unleash a, uh, a little bit of, have a little bit of fun, you know? <laughs> well, I'm <laughs> sure you get, uh, what yeah, that? I'm sure you get to have that fun, uh, you know, live. Yeah, yeah, we definitely, live, live's a different situation, we get to stretch a little bit and, you know, kick our heels off and, you know, whatnot, and, um, but, you know, Adrenaline Mob is a song-oriented band, and that, that's what it is, and uh, it, it's not, you know, it's not about, it's not just about the guitar, it's not just about the vocals, it's not just about the drumming, it's about the songs, man, you know, and the song's gotta be there, and the melodies, and, and uh, 
and then you sprinkle the good stuff all over it, you know? Yeah, no, absolutely. I mean, you know, it's like, um, it's like any good, you know, artwork, whether you're doing in, in music or in, in paint or sculpture, without a solid basis, you don't have nothing. Yeah, yeah, they, they, without, you know, if the song is good, great, then, you know, you could add some cool stuff to it. So it's gotta be, it's gotta be there, you know, or else you're building a house on sand, kind of. <laughs> Exactly. I, I brought up live because you guys have some live shows coming up with uh, Kill Devil Hill, and yeah. you guys are starting on May 10th in Cleveland. You guys got a bunch of dates uh, going around. Uh, you'll hit a few dates. I'm going to go to adrenalinemob.com for a full list of, of dates. How did that one come about? Because essentially, we're talking two powerhouse uh, bands here together on, on a tour. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I can't wait. You know, Vinny Apsey is one of my favorite drummers. Uh, you know, it just, I can't wait to, you know, see those guys, you know, kill it. You know, Rex and the guys and, and Mark. And uh, it's just going to be a really cool run. It's, it's a short run. You know, we're only, we're only doing like two weeks in the States because we head over to... Um, you know, to Europe for for a month and you know doing all the big festivals and theaters, but I can't wait. I hope I hope we actually get to go out again. Maybe you know in the summer or something. It would be really cool if we can go out with Kill Devil Hill again. You know, um, it's just I think it's going to be a killer a killer bill, and uh, I hope everyone comes out and checks it out and supports it. I mean, absolutely. I mean, like anyone that knows, uh, you know, enjoying one mom's music either from the EP or. From Omerta, you know, definitely go get to these shows if they're in your area. Uh, if you didn't know about Kill Devil Hill, well, then now you know. You heard it from me and from Michael Orlando. So check them out and, uh, you know, see them on tour. Uh, I'm actually hoping you guys do do some more dates uh, later on in the year. I am twice you guys played uh, the Hero Ballroom and twice. I heard about it too late. Oh, shit. <laughs> That's all right. There's always another time. We're going to be back soon. You know yeah, I mean, definitely. I definitely want to make sure I come and check you guys out live because, I mean, the album yeah, is the album is great, but just something tells me that the album is a nice teaser for what you guys can do live. Oh, there's no doubt there. We, we are a live band. You know, we... we uh, we breathe live. That's basically what I could say. You know, it's like, you know, that's where the band thrives. You know, um, it's just something. You know, when the, when the four of us are on stage and uh, we just feed off each other, and it just, you know, it, it kind of comes alive. And that's what you know, the best part to me. You know, about being in general mob and playing live with these guys. I, I love it. That's awesome. You know, I gotta, uh, I gotta ask because I know I'm quite sure uh, people are curious about you know these dates coming up. Are you guys um, basically just doing Omerta live? Are there surprises? You know, I won't ask you what the surprises are, but are there surprises worked in? Or um, yeah, yeah. I think we're gonna. I, I think we're definitely gonna pull some uh, some hidden punches. You know, <laughs> a few surprises here and there. Um, but pretty much, you know, yeah, we're going to go out and, and and play, you know, what's on the album. But yeah, we, we I think we've been talking the last few days about pulling some really cool stuff. And uh, you just have to hopefully come and check it out, everybody. <laughs> awesome, man. Awesome. I, I definitely know people will do so. I, if the altar bar in Pennsylvania wasn't a truck for me i would come out to you guys there but that is a hell of a ride plus the weekend before i'll be in uh atlantic city to catch uh marilyn manson actually that'll be this that'll be this coming weekend man the days are flying by yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be a great show man yeah. puts on a show. You, that's definitely from what i've heard and you know, i've heard nothing but good things about you guys live i know people that saw you guys live so people definitely if, if you are one of the towns 
on this hit list for Adrenaline Mom go out there and catch them live. Yeah, and, man, uh, I think you guys will enjoy it. <laughs> definitely, man. Now, but before I let you go, I want to ask you about one last thing that we started to talk about uh, via Facebook message a while back, and that's the, this project uh, Tread that you're yeah. working on with. Yeah. Uh, just fill in everybody who who is in this project that you're working on. Um, we the, the current lineup as of this, this moment is uh, AJ Pirro on drums from Twisted Sister. Uh, Rudy Sarzo, you know, living legend, Ozzy Whitesnake deal, you know, his quiet riot just goes on and on. Myself, um, and there's a, there's a, uh, a, a su- surprise vocalist, let's, let's put it that way, uh, you know, I won't say a surprise, I mean, it's just, uh, we, we, we shall reveal that, you know, you know, very soon, um, but that's for sure, and it's, uh, it's, it's just a rockin', you know, incredible kind of, you know, tribal type of uh, hard rock meets metal kind of band, you know. Um, some really strong melodies and, and the vocals over the top. And just the playing in general is AJ's, he's going to just blow people's minds because everybody thinks, you know, they know him from Twisted Sister, you know. And, uh, right. He's, he's just, you know, he's a freak, man. The guy can just do anything. So I can't wait for people to be blown away by, you know, his incredible chops and Rudy as well if Rudy's just taking it to the hilt man you know just his playing is unbelievable you know um, in, in tread so so we're all you know taking it you know a few levels up you know and uh, but it's still in the confines of some really rocking you know music so we're um, we're probably past the halfway point of the album everything's written there's about 15 or 16 tracks and um, hopefully, you know, we'll have it done, you know, in the next uh, month, month or so. Nice, nice. I like that there's a surprise vocalist, and I'm quite sure that'll get everyone talking now. There'll be people be all over the internet now going, oh man, could it be this one? That you'll see people uh, uh, Googling what singers are and are not. In currently in a band <laughs> yeah well i mean everyone it's funny you know everyone does have other bands these days right i mean that's that's the that's the thing today but um yeah it's you know it's, it's definitely um a really kick-ass singer you know it's real strong voice and um you know we're just really excited about it so i can't wait for it to come out very cool man i mean i look forward to that i mean just just hearing that lineup is uh, I, that sells me in itself. Yeah. yeah, I mean, it sold me <laughs> when they when I got approached. It was just like, yeah, you know, um, Rudy's one of my favorite all time bass players on the planet. You know, and uh, AJ's a dear friend of mine. So it was it was just so simple. You know. And was it was it Rudy or was it AJ or was it a a label who? Uh, Kind of brought this well, to the table. Yeah, um, you know, it was a, a dear friend of mine, uh, you know, who's, who's working very closely with the band, uh, you know, named Milton Schatzer, and um, who has also, you know, worked with Adrenaline Mob behind the scenes, and uh, he, he's very close friends with AJ as well, and uh, that's basically how it came together. They wanted to put together this, you know, shall I, you know, use the, the S word, some kind of super groupish kind of uh, you know thing so that's basically where it started and uh, they approached me and and AJ always uh, was friends with Rudy and you know always was dying to play with him and it was, it was pretty simple you know. cool man yeah, yeah everyone hesitates to use the word uh, super group after what uh, VH1 did to it with Ted Nugent and, and uh, Sebastian Bach and that, that, that band never came to be and as a result everyone's afraid to use that word yeah, well yeah I mean no I'm not, it's, it's not that I'm afraid of it or anything you know it's just uh, you know I have no, no problem with people labeling certain acts that way it's, it's, it's all good it's all, it's all music you know it's, uh, it, it's a like, cool thing it's just a batch of really cool you know intense players 
exactly. I mean, I like to look at it. Uh, I wouldn't exactly say super group because sometimes you use that term and it, it leaves too much for people to tear it apart, I guess. You know, more along the lines would be, uh, you know, just a kick-ass, you know, group of rockers getting together exactly, for a, exactly. a solid new project. Yeah, man, listen, I don't want to keep you much longer, and uh, why don't we do this? Let me let you go. It'll, it'll keep us for a, a part two after, uh, you know, you, got, you guys get back from Europe and when we get closer to Tread coming out. Uh, before I let you go, let me ask you for, uh, first I want to ask you for a request. I'll put that right after we finish up this interview. Okay. So whatever you want, give me a request, something you want me to play here for oh, you when we Okay, cool. Uh, yeah. Something, let me see. Anything from TNT. <laughs> anything from TNT. Whoa, oh, okay. Right. Let me, let me, let me uh, pull it back there a little. Something heavy. <laughs> like Tell No Tales or something. That's my boy Tony, and, uh, and Ronnie's one of the greatest. So there you go. All right, so uh, Tell No Tales. <laughs> from TNT will be it and uh, before, one last thing before I let you go let me get if I would a promo from you just uh, say who you are what, who you're with your band and all that and the name and station bullspikeradio.com and feel free to uh, get a little creative Okay, so what? So give me the name of the, the whole the, the station and then what. All right, uh, bullspikeradio.com is the station. Bullspikeradio.com. Yeah, just the usual. Okay, yep, bullspikeradio.com. Yep. Okay, cool. No problem. Whenever you're ready, man. Hey, man, this is Michael Orlando from Adrenaline Mob, and you're listening to bullspikeradio.com with Turbo. Dig it. All right, man. Thank you, man. Here you go. Your request right now, some TNT Tell No Tales for Mike Orlando. Yeah. 